This is the face of warfare today. It still revolves around men with their feet planted firmly on earth they must defend or free. Military historians will probably remember the decade of the 50s for the buildup of massive nuclear strategic potential. The decade of the 60s will undoubtedly see an emphasis on each nation's ability to function in a limited warfare sense with a re-emphasis on conventional weapons, concepts, and tactics. The secret of success of military strategists from the time of Hannibal has been in striking a balance between effective weapon employment and mobility. The key to modern battlefield mobility, the helicopter. And the finest one available today is the Bell 204B. Since the end of World War II, there have been hundreds of separate armed conflicts, through which run a thread of subversion, infiltration, and guerrilla activity. The lessons of these limited wars have been explicit. The sophisticated hardware items designed for conventional warfare are often unsatisfactory for tactical employment in limited warfare situations. The geography of limited wars is interesting. Perhaps the only places in the world where they have not nor will not occur are within the boundaries of the world power nations, which are scientifically and financially equipped to deter aggression. Most of the uprisings have happened in the underdeveloped areas of the world, the environmental and climatic extremes which actually preclude major armed conflicts. The common factors which can be applied to the brush war threat in the underdeveloped areas of the world are mobility, firepower, reconnaissance, logistics support. This film will document the 204's capability to perform diverse tactical missions consistent with these four requirements. The key to the value of the 204B is, of course, its mobility. Its capability to perform throughout the complete range of global conditions, from the floor of the desert to the top of mountains. Under every climatic condition to be found on Earth, engine starts are possible at temperatures ranging from 65 degrees below zero to more than 120 degrees above. Whatever the terrain or climate, Bell's 204B has flown and flown well literally proven from the Alps to within less than 200 miles from the South Pole. One of the highly significant logistics factors of the 204 is its air transportability, a feature which fits into the concept of global military involvement. It can be quickly airlifted to virtually any country on Earth. Mobility alone, however, does not provide a complete answer to the success of battle. The 204's excellent maneuverability makes possible the placement of men and weapons where they can be most effective. Its ability to fly the very nap of the earth, taking advantage of natural cover, provides military tacticians with a long dreamed of goal, complete vertical envelopment. Flying at speeds from zero to 120 miles per hour with virtually unlimited evasive action potential, it can place men and weapons where they can fight most effectively. The ultimate value of military mobility is to increase firepower, and in this area the 204B shows extreme versatility. Exterior machine guns or 20 mm Gatling guns provide an aircraft which can fly at treetop level, at variable speed and highly controlled strafing fire. Similar armament can also be controlled from within the cabin of the helicopter, providing an enormous volume of highly directed firepower. Rocket installations of various types can be mounted as external stores and used under a variety of tactical situations.
The same characteristics of maneuverability and variable speed which make the 204B such a versatile gun platform are its greatest reconnaissance asset. Reconnaissance is nothing new to Bell. The capability of our helicopters has been instrumental in developing the techniques which are used successfully today by Army units in the field. After reconnaissance comes troop deployment and support, another aspect of the 204B's versatility. Logistics support is many things to men who must fight on the ground. It is getting things both in and out of the combat area. Of course, aircraft can never be the total answer to military mobility. Wheels and tracks are very important, but often the wheels have to be put where they can function best by using the 204B as a flying crane, capable of carrying a load up to two tons and equipped with a quick release hook, the 204B becomes the logistics workhorse of any battlefield. The conical hole in the bottom of the fuselage keeps the load centered at the approximate three axis center of gravity of the helicopter, so the load can swing without affecting aircraft handling. Not only is the 204B air transportable, but it can carry other aircraft as well. It can lift light observation aircraft from small clearings where takeoff might be impossible or retrieve aircraft crippled by mechanical malfunction. Evacuation of wounded has been a classic role for Bell helicopters and the design of the 204B reflects the lessons learned from this operational heritage. Convertibility from a litter carrier to a personnel carrier is accomplished in a matter of minutes. Broad double sliding doors make entry and exit from the 204 a simple and speedy process, even for military personnel with full battle gear. Logistics is a two-edged sword. Not only should support systems be productive, they also should be as reliable as possible. And the 204B is a record breaker in this significant area too. It is as at home in the field as the M1 rifle. It can operate wherever troops are deployed. This helicopter will have a 1,000 hour time between overhaul, the equivalent of 125,000 miles of travel. So the 204B solves logistics problems without creating any of its own. Changing the turbine engine can be performed in a matter of minutes. Quick disconnects snap off without the use of special tools with integral shutoff valves which restrain fluid flow as the lines are disconnected. This makes it unnecessary to drain the fluids from the engine. All electrical connections are through cannon plugs. The maintenance hoist and working platform is another imaginative feature of the 204. This hoist allows removal of the main rotor, the transmission and mast, or the engine without the use of a special hoist truck. The fact that this device is transportable by the helicopter affords complete field maintenance potential. The T-5309 Lycoming engine used in the 204 features low specific fuel consumption with minimum size and weight. Its free turbine drive principle eliminates the need for a clutch. The engine, although designed to operate on JP-4 fuel, can be operated on either automotive or aviation gasoline or even kerosene, an important consideration when operating in remote areas of the world. No other helicopter has been so rigidly tested by the military prior to production purchasing. Over a period of five years, more than 12,000 hours of test flights reported in 31 separate testing programs conducted by Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marines have validated the integrity of this aircraft as a multi-mission helicopter. These extensive military tests established that all performance guarantees were met or exceeded Unprecedented military usage has accumulated more than 150,000 hours of flying time. Mission capability with operational economy has been a prime design criteria at Bell. So the economic considerations on behalf of the 204 are as compelling as its technical superiority. Current operating data provides a 10-place seating capacity, an empty weight of 4,600 pounds, a design gross weight of 8,500 pounds, a Lycoming T-5309 turbine engine, which generates 1,100 horsepower, 
with a maximum speed of 120 knots. The rate of climb is 2,780 feet a minute. A hovering ceiling 8,200 feet at full gross weight. A range of 230 miles and a maximum fuel capacity of 165 gallons. An unprecedented degree of battlefield mobility. Versatile gun platforms. Accurate intelligence by direct observation and logistics ability to meet any change in tactical deployment. These are the keys which the 204B places in the hands of a military commander. Keys which could make the difference between success or failure in the demanding, specialized area of a limited war. And so the 204B stands today, a capable, versatile ship, proven in worldwide service in volume production. A continuation of the heritage which has made Bell the standard of excellence against which all helicopters must be measured.